We're gonna learn more about hair care today, folks. Today, specifically, we're gonna learn about hair damage, what it is, how to fix it, and how to prevent it in the first place. This video is gonna be composed of information from scientific studies in trichology and cosmetic chemistry journals. I don't often see that kind of information on YouTube, so I wanted to give you some hair care advice that wasn't anecdotal or just folk wisdom. Also, I'm making this video in collaboration with Apogee. They're a company that makes specifically hair damage care and prevention products. I've been using their stuff for a few years now and I know the most about them, so I asked them to sponsor this video. But they're not the only company out there that makes hair damage products, so the information that you're going to learn in this video can also work with some other products that you prefer to use. Alright, here's the scientific information on hair damage fixing and prevention. First off, what is hair damage? Well, it's your hair breaking, duh. But more specifically, it's the chipping and erosion of the outer cuticle layer on the hair shaft, as well as the degradation of the protein formations in the cortex in the middle. When cuticle damage happens, your hair is less water resistant. Cuticle damage also leads to less smoothness and shine and more frizz. When cortex damage occurs, the entire structural integrity of your hair strand is at risk. You lose elasticity, curl shape, and it's much easier to break during normal wear and tear on your hair. How do you fix hair damage? Well, you can't. Not permanently anyways. But let's put a little asterisk by that. That's what an asterisk is. <laughs> let's put a little asterisk by that and say that while you can't permanently fix hair damage, you can temporarily reinforce it. Cosmetic technology has gotten pretty good these days, and so there are products out there that you can use to apply to the hair, and then it sticks around for a few weeks and protects your hair and makes it look healthy while you're waiting to grow out actual healthy hair from your head. The most common product is called a protein treatment. Essentially, this is a product with protein molecules that are broken down by a process called hydrolysis and then suspended in conditioner. They act like little building blocks and bind to the hair where there are cracks and holes in order to fill it and make your hair stronger and look healthier. I have to read the list for this one. Protein treatments help with frizz, smoothness, strength, color retention, and protects from further damage. Like I mentioned earlier, the protein treatment that I've been using for years is from Apogee. They're the most popular protein treatment brand out there, and they have a massive line of products formulated for specific hair needs. There's the strengthening kit for a moderate amount of breakage. I've used this a few times that I've gone too long without a trim and my hair is not feeling so great. The one I use every two weeks is their two minute reconstructor formula. This is more for keeping healthy hair the way it is. The proof is in the pudding, so here's a close up of the condition of my hair, including the condition of the ends. They're very soft and as you can see, there are almost no split ends. Granted, straight hair is easier to take care of, so if you have more pressing and dire damage needs, there's the really intense two-step protein treatment. There's also a keratin shampoo and conditioners, because good products are more than the sum of their ingredients. They involve interactions between ingredients, so using this along with the protein treatment makes the damage repair more effective. Using these treatments is a lot like using a conditioner. After shampooing, Towel dry the hair a bit so it isn't dripping wet, and then lather on the protein treatment for as long as the instructions say, which is usually like two to five minutes. Then rinse out. If the treatment you choose comes in two steps, you apply one, rinse out, and then apply the next. I'm out of the shower here to demonstrate this on camera, but normally I stay in the shower out of the way of the water while I do this, and like shave my legs or something while I wait for the treatment to work. Protein treatments aren't the only product that can help with hair damage. There are also conditioners that are made with dimethicone that work, as well as a sort of combination complex of polyquaternium 28 and PVMMA copolymer. Coconut oil and other saturated and monosaturated oils like that are pretty good at helping with hair damage too because they can diffuse into the hair shaft and reinforce the strength of the hair from the inside that way. But these conditioners and oils don't last as long as protein treatments because they come out with your next wash. So I recommend using a protein treatment because I'm lazy and I like to keep my routine as simple as possible. We've talked about fixing hair damage now, but since we can't permanently fix hair damage, a good thing to know is how to prevent it in the first place. There are three main kinds of damage that happen to your hair. The first is chemical, then thermal, 
and mechanical. Chemical damage is the worst that will happen to your hair. This comes from dyeing, bleaching, permanent curling, and straightening treatments. This includes Brazilian blowouts, so keep that in mind when you see those pictures on Instagram. You'll also get oxidative damage from harsh surfactants in shampoos made with anionic ingredients. You'll also get it from water with a pH above 5.5. And a less commonly known source of oxidative damage is UV light too. So your hair can get sunburned as well. You'll want to avoid these chemical damage sources as much as you can and wear a hat when you go outside. Next, there's thermal damage from using blow dryers, curlers, straighteners, and crimpers. These damage your hair because when you superheat your hair like you do with these tools, it instantly vaporizes the water that's in your hair, and when it forces its way out of the hair shaft, it breaks the structure doing so. Luckily, heat protecting products have gotten pretty good, so make sure you're using one to minimize this heat damage. Effective heat protectants are made with silicone, VP acrylics, Laurel methacrylate po copolymer, <laughs> Laurel methacrylate copolymer, polyquaternium 55, and that PVMMA copolymer and polyquat 28 complex that I mentioned earlier. It's also best to use a heat protectant that's alcohol based rather than water based because ethanol will evaporate from your hair before you put heat on it, whereas the water in a water heat protectant will diffuse into the hair and give you that instant vaporization bursting through your hair problem. Finally, we have mechanical damage. This one you can't really avoid. This is the everyday wear and tear that happens to your hair when you're brushing it, walking around, and it's brushing against your clothes. To limit this kind of damage, it's important to find a leave-in conditioner that you like in order to make your hair easier to brush. If your hair is straight, brush it when it's dry, and if your hair is curly, brush it when it's wet. Brushing dry hair will cause more split ends, while wet brushing will cause more mid-shaft breaks. But because curly hair is at so much more risk for tangles when you brush it dry, you should do it wet. Also follow the brushing technique I outlined in my fixing hair tangles video on my YouTube channel. The most brushing damage happens when hair bends and loops around each other. So short strokes starting from the bottom of the hair and working up is what's best. So that's all the hair care research that I have for you guys today. If you want more information, all the scientific papers I used for this video are in the description box below. If you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll try to find those answers for you. I've also linked to Apogee's website in the description box below so that if you want to use a protein treatment like the one that I described, you can go find out more about it. I hope that was at least somewhat helpful for you and I'll see you again later.